now let us discuss about minimization of dfa using equivalence or partition method so this is the dfa here first we have to find out do we have any unreachable states or not so here we have eight states from q0 to q7 so we have to traverse each state from q0 from the initial state via the direct path or we may have some intermediate states in between them if you take q1 yeah we have direct path so we can traverse from q0 to q1 if you take q2 we can traverse via q1 from q0 to q1 from q1 to q2 if you take q3 yeah q3 is unreachable state from q0 it is not possible to move to the q3 state whereas q4 is reachable state q0 to q5 q5 to q0 to q5 and then q5 to q6 q6 to q4 q0 to q5 directly q0 to q5 q5 to q6 yeah all are reachable states only except q3 so we can remove q3 state from the diagram now let us see the dfa transition table in the examination a transition diagram may be given or transition table may be given so let us see the dfa transition table here we have q0 q1 q2 here we are removing q3 from the dfa so there is no need to write q3 here okay next next is next states are q4 q5 q6 q7 q0 is the initial state so put arrow mark q2 is the final state so put some star mark which denotes it is the final state next 0 1 are the input symbols so q0 on 0 goes to q1 q1 next to q0 on 1 q5 next to q1 on 0 q6 q1 on 1 q2 q6 q2 next to q2 on 0 q0 q2 on 1 q2 so q0 q2 next we don't have q3 why because q3 is unreachable state from q0 it is not possible to traverse to q3 next to q4 on 0 q7 next one is q4 on 1 q5 so q7 q5 next to q5 on 0 q2 q5 on 1 q6 so q2 q6 next to q6 on 0 it is q6 only q6 on 1 <coughs> on 1 it is q4 so q6 q4 next to q7 on 0 it is q2 q7 on 0 what is the transition q7 on 0 it is q6 q7 on 1 it is q2 so first so now this uh, there is no need of this transition diagram so already transition table is uh, written so first we have to construct zero equivalence zero equivalence zero equivalence mainly contains uh, two set of states the first set represents uh, non final states second set represents final states so here q2 is the final state remaining all are non final states only so non final states are q0 q1 q2 is final state q3 is not present here so what are the remaining states q4 q5 q6 q7 whereas what is the final state q2 is the final state so next we have to construct one equivalence so one equivalence is constructed based on the zero equivalence so now we need to compare q0 with q1 q0 with q4 likewise we have to compare all the states so let us check whether q0 and q1 are equal or not so delta of q0 comma what is the input symbol 0 is the input symbol so next one is q1 comma 0 so next one is delta of q0 comma 1 next one is q1 comma 1 so q0 on 0 means q1 q1 on 0 means q6 q0 on 1 q5 q2 q5 q2 so q1 q6 are present in same set q5 q2 q5 is present in one set whereas q2 is present in another set so we can say that q0 is not equals to q1 q0 is not equals to q1 so next to compare q0 with q0 with q1 is over next to compare q0 with q4 so delta of q0 comma 0 next to delta of q1 
q4 comma 0 next to delta of q0 comma 1 next to delta of q4 comma 1 so q0 on 0 means q1 q4 on 0 means q7 q0 on 1 q5 q1 on 1 q5 so q1 q7 next to q5 q5 so q1 q7 are present in same set q5 we have only one state that is present in a single set only so we can say that q0 is equal to q4 so we can place q0 and q4 in a same set so till now we got q0 is not equals to q1 and what is the next one q0 is equal to q4 so we can place q0 and q4 in one set uh, next let us see the next comparisons so q0 q1 q0 q4 is over next to compare q0 with q5 q0 with q5 q0 with q5 q0 with q5 so this is q0 and this is q5 so delta of q0 comma 0 delta of q5 comma 0 next to delta of q0 comma 1 delta of q5 comma 1 so q0 on 0 means q1 q0 on 1 means q5 so q1 q5 next to q5 q5 on 0 q2 q5 on 1 q6 so q2 q6 so q1 q2 q1 is present in one set q2 is present in another set next q5 q6 they are present in one set only but q1 is present in one set and q2 is present in another set so we can say that q0 is not equals to q5 q0 is not equals to q5 so then we can compare q1 with q5 we can compare q1 with q5 if q1 and q5 are equal then we can place those two in a single set okay so next to compare q1 with q5 q1 with q5 so delta of q1 comma 0 delta of q5 comma 0 next to delta of q1 comma 1 delta of q5 comma 1 so q1 so q1 on 0 q6 q2 so q6 q2 next to q5 q2 q6 q2 q6 q5 means q2 q6 so q6 q2 q6 is present in one set whereas q2 is present in another set so what is q1 on 0 q6 q5 on 0 is q2 so q6 is present in one set whereas q2 is present in another set so we can say that q1 is not equals to q5 q1 is not equals to q5 why because q2 and q6 are present in different sets so we can't place q1 and q5 in one set uh, next uh, next what we have to do q0 with q5 is over next we need to compare q0 with q6 q0 with q7 q0 with q6 q0 with q7 q0 q6 so delta of q0 comma 0 delta of q6 comma 0 delta of q0 comma 1 delta of q6 comma 1 next q0 q0 transitions are q1 q5 q1 q5 q6 transitions are q6 q4 q6 q4 so q1 q6 present in same set q5 q4 present in same set so we can say that q0 is equal to q6 so q0 is is equal to q6 so next we have to compare q0 with q7 q0 with q7 so if you see here here q1 q6 q1 q6 so q1 q6 are present in same set next we got here q5 q2 q5 q2 q2 is present in one set whereas q5 is present in another set so we can say that q0 is not equals to q7 so here we got q0 as not equals to q1 okay so already q1 is compared with q5 likewise compare q1 with q7 compare q1 with q7 
compare Q1 with Q7. If they are same, then we can place them in a same set. If they are different, then we can place them in different sets. So Q1, Q7. So this state and this state. So Q6, Q6. Same, same set, single state. Next to Q2, Q2. Single state, same set. So we can say that Q1 is equal to Q7. Q1 is equal to Q7. So one equivalence is over. So now one equivalence contains what are the states now? What are the states? The first set is here Q0 is equal to Q4. Q0 is equal to Q4 as well as Q0 is equal to Q6. So we can place Q0, Q4, Q6 in a single set. Next we got Q1 is equal to Q7. Q1 is equal to Q7. So we can place Q1 and Q7 in a same set. Next year we have Q2. Next year we have Q2 as separate state. Next Q0 is over. Q2 is Q1 is over. Q2 is over. Q3 is already removed. Why? Because it is untraceable state. Q4 is over. Next we have to cover Q5. So Q5 is not equals to Q0 as well as Q5 is not equals to Q1. So we have to place Q5 as a separate state. Okay. So Q5 is covered. Q6 is covered. Q7 is covered. So likewise compute second equivalence. Second equivalence. So in second equivalence, second equivalence is calculated based upon the first equivalence. So we have to compare Q0 with Q4, Q0 with Q6 and then Q1 with Q7. So just three comparisons. So first to compare Q0 with Q4. Q0 with Q4. So delta of Q0 comma 0. Next to delta of Q4 comma 0. Next to delta of Q0 comma 1. Next to delta of Q4 comma 1. So Q0 transitions are Q1, Q5. Q1, Q5. Whereas Q4 transitions are Q7, Q5. Q7, Q5. Q4 transitions are Q7, Q5. If you see here Q1, Q7 present in same set. Q5 single state present in same set. So we can say that Q0 is equals to Q4. Likewise compare Q0 with Q6. Q0 with Q6. So this is Q0 state. This is Q6 state. So Q1, Q6. Q1, Q6. Yeah. If you see here. Yeah. Q0 on 0 goes to Q1. Whereas Q6 on 0 goes to Q6. So Q1, Q6. Q1 is present in one set. Whereas Q6 is present in another set. So we can say that Q0 is not equals to Q6. Q0 is not equals to Q6. So now. We can place Q0, Q4 in one set, whereas Q6 will be placed in another set. Next, we have to compare Q1 with Q7. Next, we have to compare Q1 with Q7. So, here what is one equivalence? Yeah, first calculate that. Q1 with Q7. So, these two states. So, Q6, Q6, same. Q2, Q2, same. So, we can say that Q1 is equal to Q7. So, what is one equivalence now? Q0 not equals to Q6. So here Q0 is equal to Q4. So this set contains Q0, Q4. Next to Q0 is not equal to Q6. So we have to place Q6 as a separate set. Next to Q1, Q7 are equal. Remaining all are same only. So this is one equivalence. I am sorry. This is second equivalence. Okay. So this is first. This is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So this is second equivalence. This is second equivalence. Next we have to calculate third equivalence. So third equivalence is calculated based upon the second equivalence. So in third equivalence we have to compare Q0 with Q4, Q1 with Q7. So Q0, Q4. So Q1, Q7 present in same set. Next Q5, Q5 present in same set. Next compare Q1 with Q7. Q6, Q6 same state. Q2, Q2 same state so present in same set so now we can say that third equivalence is same as the second equivalence why because in third equivalence also we compared q1 q0 and q4 they are same only and we compared q1 with q7 they are also same so second equivalence and third equivalence are equal in third equivalence also we are getting the same result q0 q4 next to q6 q1 q7 
next q2 q5 so third equivalence is same as the second equivalence so we can stop the process now why because even if we calculate fourth equivalence fifth equivalence sixth equivalence also we will get the same result only so now we can stop the process initially the dfa contains eight states from q0 to q7 now those eight states are reduced to 1 2 3 4 5 states so this is the advantage of the minimization of finite automata we can reduce the number of states so here q0 is the initial state whereas q2 is the final state so this is initial state let us draw the transition diagram so q0 q4 here we have multiple states so enclose them in a square bracket we know that each state must be enclosed in circle next we have q6 so this is q6 single state only next we have q1 and q7 so multiple states so it is better to enclose them in square bracket next we have q2 which is a final state so transition diagram means final state must be enclosed in double circles next we have q5 so let us see the transition diagram q0 on 0 goes to q1 so q0 on 0 goes to q1 q0 on 1 goes to q5 q0 on 1 goes to q5 q0 on 1 goes to q5 next q1 on 0 goes to q6 so q1 on 0 goes to q6 next q1 on 1 goes to q2 q2 next q2 on 0 goes to q0 q2 on 0 goes to q0 q2 on 1 it is a self loop next q4 on 0 goes to q7 q4 on 0 goes to q7 yeah it is already over why because q1 and q1 are same only next q4 on 1 goes to q5 so q4 on 1 already over next q5 on 0 goes to q2 q5 on 0 goes to q2 next q5 on 1 q6 q5 on 1 q6 next q6 on 0 q6 q6 on 0 q6 next q6 on 1 q4 q6 on 1 q4 next q7 on 0 q7 on 0 it is q6 q7 on 0 q6 already it is over why because q1 q7 are merged q7 on 1 goes to q2 so this is the minimized dfa